Many of us consider our pets to be just as important as any other member of the family. And just like a sickly child can cause unbelievable worry for their parents, a poorly pet can cause just as much concern for their owners, both emotionally and financially. So I'm here at a local vet clinic to share with you some simple and easy tips to keep your dog and cat healthy and happy as the autumn nights begin to draw in. Come on Betty, let's go in. So of course we all like to treat our pets, but don't substitute food for love. It's very important not to overfill that food bowl just because you're going to work and the kids are going back to school. Remember that obesity is a big problem here in the UK with an estimated 50% of dogs and cats up and down the country suffering and as a result expected to have a reduced lifespan of up to 25%. So it's really important that we watch our pets' waistlines. And when it comes to treats, keep human foods off the menu. There's so many toxic foods that live in a normal human household, including chocolate, onions, and even grapes. So keep it simple and keep pet foods for pets. So before the Christmas rush, it's a good idea to book your pet in for their annual health check so that your vet can check them over thoroughly and also check for preventative medicines and vaccinations. Now, if they pick up injuries or illnesses early, obviously it can avoid pain for the pet, but also avoid big bills for the owners. Research by Tesco Bank Pet Insurance found that one third of us would give up our annual holiday in order to pay for our vet bills. So if you still want to go on holiday and don't want to have the worry of how to finance if your animals are really unwell, then my advice is simple. Get your pet insured. It costs just a few pounds a month and buys you great peace of mind. So let's talk about separation anxiety. That's where animals are left home alone and get really upset. Now a savvy owner will deal with this very simply. Ignore the dog for 15 to 20 minutes before you leave the house and then when you return home. So there's absolutely nothing to be gained by getting upset when their owners leave the house. And also a great thing to do is to put on a bit of background music just so they have something to entertain them while you're gone. One of the most important parts of a dog's health routine is of course exercise, just as good for them as it is for us. If you've got a dog, why not choose some new invigorating walks or otherwise take them interesting places. It's a great way to get their workouts stimulating. If you've got a cat, generally it's an indoor pursuit. So why not buy fishing rod toys or laser pens? A great way to get their heart rate up and to spend some quality time with them. And of course, as we're moving into the colder months, we're going back to school and back to work, meaning the exercise is really important. So they're nice and tired out and calm when left at home. Just like any dog, Betty here likes to be stimulated and entertained, especially when I'm not in the house. The best way to do that is to buy lots of different toys, changing them up regularly and buying ones that really stimulate their mind. This is a Kong. It's a great way to encourage them to play and to remove treats from inside, it keeps their brain stimulated. And you get very similar toys for cats as well. But it's really important to give them something to do when you are out because if they don't and get bored, they can cause damage to your stuff and even to themselves. So I hope you found my simple tips useful and hopefully they'll help your pets stay healthy and happy as we move into the colder months.